Hello and welcome. Assalamu alaikum. You're watching Greenwich Live Sessions. This is your host Umar Khan and I'm back with another session, another guest. And yet again, I'm very excited for today's uh, show because the guest uh, I have today uh, with me is uh, an institution within himself. He's a very intellectual person and uh, we're in store to learn quite a lot of things when it comes to the media field, when it comes to life and when it comes uh, to having success in life. So without any further delay, let me introduce my guest for today. We have with us uh, Mr. Mirza Masood Beg, who is currently the head of PTV World, part of Pakistan Television Network. He has valuable experience in the fields of film and TV production, direction and content management. In addition, uh, he has also been working in the field of film and TV production for the past almost two decades and he holds vast series of programs, commercials, current affairs shows, news bulletins, TV dramas, documentaries, infomercials, music videos, short films and a feature film that we all loved, Khuda Ke Liye. Uh, he worked as line producer uh, in uh, Khuda Ke Liye as well and prior to joining his television industry career, he started his career with the management development services the British Council, where as a certified trainer, uh, he designed, promoted and conducted various workshops covering a number of aspects of corporate management. He also conducted workshops for various organizations, including uh, Picture Gate Productions, Connections Communication Center, Circus Media, Prime TV and so on and on. In fact, Ikra TV in London, Geo TV, PTV and Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation in Pakistan. He has a passion for teaching as well. I can go on and on. But uh, once again, just let me uh, welcome Sir uh, Mirza Masood Beg. So welcome to the show, sir. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm pretty well. Thank you. Uh, sir, uh, I had to do justice with your introduction. There was so much more that ha I had to add. But then again, uh, we've got plenty more to explore uh, in our session as well. Thank you so much. You've been quite kind, but I'm still a learner. and I believe that every single day we have to learn something in order to grow. Indeed, so that is truly uh, your humbleness. Well, let's just start the session. And we all know that we're in this COVID situation now. Things are getting a bit lightened up. Uh, but uh, how were these past four or five months and how life and work treated you uh, during this COVID situation? Interesting yet weird, to be very honest. Because this was the first time in my life that I've experienced such new uh, phenomena that uh, it has changed our lives, to be very, very honest. And But uh, I must highlight that I never took a day off from my work. Uh, my wife was quite upset. My kids were <laughs> quite upset. And they didn't want me to go to the workplace. Uh, but I had to go. You know, being a leader, you have, to just, uh, you have to place yourself somewhere where you can just lead your team. So if I had taken a day off or maybe a couple of weeks off, it wouldn't uh, look nice or make them nice because, you know, we are working a 24-7 cycle. Absolutely. Every single second is <laughs> quite complicated but interesting. So I have to be there. So I have done new things and we have been learning. Uh, the new things include that, okay, everything can be done online. You don't have to go to your workplace. But as far as TV channels are concerned, we have to be there. So uh, I don't know. I think we were cursed. We had no option but to be there. Mm. I totally agree to that. The famous saying that says the show must go on no matter what. So uh, indeed, there is a huge role of media. But especially, I like to appreciate PTV here because one thing that I personally think and many of our uh, people and population think that whenever we switch on the TV and switch channels, so uh, mostly what we get uh, is negativity and something that basic ethics does not allow when it comes to journalism. But whenever I turn on PTV news and I look at the news, so I look at things that everything so wonderful in Pakistan. And this, this, this is the original ethics and basics that we learn during journalism. If you look at international media, that's how they portray the country. But the irony is that many of our media azad hua hai, ye, ye azadi and so what's your take on that being of course uh, head of a, a supreme channel uh, how do you look at it uh, and what's your perspective first of all i must say that uh, as you said earlier that show must go on but certain actors have to be have to be there they have, they have to stay otherwise the show wouldn't go on 
Right. Okay. And let let me move uh, on to your uh, secondary question. You know, uh, in Pakistan, the last seventy-three years, we have had enough. We have seen different phases, and uh, you know, at this age, uh, because at the age of eight or nine, I started uh, reading newspapers, and I can recall my memory that every single day we said that okay, Pakistan khatam ho gaya, Pakistan khatam ho gaya. You know, we have grown a lot. Absolutely. At, as, as far as journalism is concerned, you know, there are a few people, I must say, in Pakistan. Um, I don't know whether I have to be blunt or not, but <laughs> I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say something anyway. You know, uh, in this new era of social media, you have heard so many views and voices every single morning, every single day, 24-7. People just write, share their views and voices, and they just come up with different videos and audios and all that. And, you know, it's like a fashion these days to talk against the state, to talk against Pakistan, to talk against the government, no matter who, are, who, they, who is running the show. It's like a fashion. And, you know, to prove that you are an intellectual and you know a lot and you have uh, read so many books and you have watched this and you have watched this and you have met this and that. So you have to prove that so-called presence of yourself that you have to come up with something unique. And you end up saying such things against my own country. You love your country. I have. I. I really, really love my country. I lived in the in the UK for the last. Uh, I lived there for ten years plus, eleven years almost. But I had to rush back, and when I came back to Pakistan, people would ask me, hey, "Why are you back?" Hmm. I would simply reply, and that you know, this country has given me a lot. I was born in a humble family, and uh, as I told you earlier, that government taught school free, college free, university almost free. Karachi University. So they just made me what I am today. So I had to come back. It's a payback time. So all the individuals have to just um, invest something uh, towards this country. And so I have done that. Coming back to journalism, yes, there are there are very good people who think that journalism is like a poor responsibility, responsibility, and they have been doing their job well. But there are other people, you know, a social media. Uh, I don't know, unfortunately or fortunately, have given us a new playing field, level playing field, that people can come, say, even slap, metaphorically, and they can just go, and they can just keep well. But again, you know, life is black and white, white, mm -hmm. black, white, black. You know, sometimes it's imbalanced, but life is there. But good people are here to stay. Good people have been doing their job well, and they will be here until the judgment day knocks at our doors. Indeed. So you mentioned social media. So there's this uh, very funny thing because everything in Pakistan, you know, uh, people, especially the youth, uh, we all need entertainment and we just follow trends. We've seen these social apps getting viral, uh, named TikTok and all. Right. There is a positive side, but mostly people take it uh, to the negative side. We, we saw during these days uh, that uh, many videos went viral on social media, uh, you know, where people, a common man, you know, and the next day they're apologizing and then people just tag it like uh, hashtag software updated and things like that. So as you said that these social media platforms had made it very easy for anyone to have their views. But then again, as you mentioned, that there's a lot of responsibility when it comes to media people to give news because when anyone looks at a TV channel, a newspaper or a, a radio channel, whatever they hear, they see or they read, they follow it blindly. So there's immense uh, responsibility on a journalist to portray the right side of the story and not what they think is right. Your perspective, sir. But Omar, your right can be my wrong. You know, that's the debate. We can't right. see one object from the same angle, mm -hmm. you know, and it creates certain friction, whether it's social media or mainstream media. We, mm -hmm. we see things differently. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or maybe at times we just we don't, we don't wish to see things in a in a certain uh, from a certain angle or perspective rather so it's you know it's all about an individual how he or she certain things some people whose conscience is quite active and alive and strong they would never come up with any negative or bad things whether it's the country or individual or a, or a group or a society whatsoever but you know I am sorry to say, but there are, you, have, you must have seen so many people who, who, whose conscience is almost dead or maybe half dead. So, you know, it's the, it's the ongoing debate. Hmm. So, 
you have got two pillars people will come up with thoughts a thoughts b thoughts c thought, thought d it depends upon them how how they see certain things it depends upon their lens you know so this is the debate but exposure, you know, exposure matters a lot exposure matters a lot uh, in this matter brain cells matter a lot <laughs> we we lack that uh, you know the common sense is the most rarest thing among our population but the most beautiful thing about any conversation or any debate is rule number 1 is we agree to disagree i have to respect your opinion and you have to respect my opinion this is the basic thing that we lack uh, around uh, in our society today sure but you know uh, i think it's a matter of intolerance mm -hmm. lack okay. of tolerance uh, as you said that i had i have to respect whatever you think but you have to respect, give me the same respect back but you exactly. don't give me that you know mm. so you know in our society i have noticed one thing that we are not good listeners we don't tend to listen we just want to utter say something yapping 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 all the time but you have to understand if you are not able to understand at least listen to that gentleman or lady to start with so you know listening makes you more powerful you know i believe that if you don't listen don't read don't watch how can you speak this is the rule of thumb absolutely now sir uh, listening to you is such a treat and uh, all the, those ex years and experiences just you know flowing in our conversation and we can all sense that but let's just talk about your beautiful journey uh, you know the years beautiful <laughs> i but was it, not been, i was not born in a fairy land <laughs> but then again even the the path of those thorns uh, and you know the it was not a bed of roses but today where you are you heading mashallah the ptv world it, it, it's an achievement in itself but the reason i'm calling it beautiful is because all the pain all the hard work all the uh, things that you went through has uh, completely given you back and today in this session uh, we'll take it as an inspiration for all the youngsters because people and especially the youth these days uh, they want to enter into the field and they just want a uh, air conditioned cabin they want uh, a nice car they want a five digit salary well uh, it's not that easy so th that's the reason i'm calling your journey beautiful and i highly respect uh the fact that uh, you know uh, especially uh, how humble you are and the way um, you you communicate and everything i i just want exactly uh, our audience to know the same uh, about you because there's so much to explore so let's just start your journey all the way from your college days what about school days okay that that's, that's even more interesting okay because i loved my school school really made me what i am today to be very very honest uh you know there is a school you know uh, there is an area in karachi old karachi pakistan chowk and there was a school called orient school um so back in the day i was there and the teachers were very nice uh, at that time even though it was a kind of a government school so uh, teachers were i i would i would definitely love to talk about the teach the way that the people teach these days teachers were very nice uh, they were humble they were there to teach so there was no so called class system at that time right so i uh, studied in my school and uh, after that i joined government asm college sin muslim arts and commerce college i did my intermediate from there then somebody you know i was quite naive honestly i didn't know much uh, about the outer world so he said ke karachi university join kar lo <laughs> i didn't even know ke wo hai kahan karachi university at that time <laughs> so he filled my form in and he uh, honestly he was kind enough he submitted my form in karachi university and i just went the day the list was was displayed and uh, i got admission right so i did my masters in mass communication and after that uh, i was quite lucky that uh, i happened to be part of the british council karachi as wow. uh, yeah as promotion officer then i uh, was promoted to management development officer as you had told earlier so british council really really it was a great 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 institution back uh, at that time because in karachi i think british council does not exist anymore there in sabad i believe and lahore i guess so they just taught me the corporate life how to exist in that talk eat dog world they they uh, i had attended i think hundreds of workshops in different cities and uh, in 99 uh, i got a scholarship i went to the uk and wow. then never back 
my idea, oh by the way i got married in uh, september 99 and after 10 days my wife and i we we, we made a plan that okay let's go there did a master in one year and came back and and we, 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 we had to come back but we lived there for more than 10 years wow. but in that society uh, equality really exists you can study whatever you want so i had a chance that i had studied so many things from here and there you know i believe being a leadership being a leader effective leader over the state you have to understand all the aspects you are dealing with now i like as far as uh, tv industry is concerned one cannot take you for right because you understand each and every micro aspect of that field so but you yeah, at the, today as you just uh, mentioned that you this younger lot the kids they just want to have this and this and this but no you cannot have all that without hard working you have to you have to feel the heat first Absolutely. this heat will, this heat will bake you and and even if uh, there are a few examples that we can say that you know who just got lucky and uh, had success overnight and became millionaires so it's very hard to stay at the top and be consistent if you have uh, not you know climbed the ladder on that merit basis step by step then you don't know uh, how to get back up if you fall so all those examples that people quote that uh, just got lucky and uh, you know made it big overnight so uh, they don't last long because they don't know how to survive so that's very important so you mentioned uh, your college days i have few memories uh, with me and i'll just share them on screen and then you have to tell me uh, what uh, bell does that ring so right now on the screen uh, okay, i think this... <laughs> these are my university days i am uh, second last from the left Oh wow! And this, I believe, is ninety-five, ninety-six. Uh, this is this must be ninety-two. Ninety-two. Wow. Yeah. I I was in my pampers back then. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, what memories and what uh, you know things comes up to your mind when I share this thing because there's lots of uh, friends of yours right there and you know looking back almost three decades. Uh, I can see the smile on your face. You know, <laughs> I, I definitely come up with lots of things that that, that just flash back in my memory. Bad and good both. Yeah, But you so know, Karachi Karachi University is such a unique and wonderful wonderful place to be yeah. there in the first place. Uh, you know, I um, learned so many things. I learned first of all, I learned how to speak. I was a shy guy. I didn't know how to say and when to say and what to say at certain times. but they really taught me to speak up i joined certain uh, uh, non political groups as well so we would have fun you know there were bad guys good guys but i was quite lucky to have good guys around and you know and the other thing is that since there are lots and lots of uh, female uh, colleagues like students so it's like a competition kind of environment and they also teach you you know i must say that your female <laughs> class fellows normally they, they help you out they do absolutely i i share uh, more of the pictures and uh, you have to tell me what uh, the scenario was i think this oh, is this, the okay this, this is in london actually when i was doing a masters in media management <laughs> and uh, we can see all the fun in the picture you know pictures yeah. the, in itself they speak and uh, this 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 picture is, it has so much energy so what were you guys up to back then party time <laughs> <laughs> we can definitely see that so while we're uh, talking about partying and all the pictures I, i've got many of your uh, professional pictures as well so many people who haven't seen how things work so this is the panel room and yeah. uh, if you can tell us more about it this was 2009 uh, in london again i was working for a channel with mcr indeed uh, so uh, you stayed uh, in london uh, for almost over a decade in fact so yeah. come to pakistan um, how would you compare or how would you say that how uh, people and their work ethics differ in media field when it comes to london and when it comes to pakistan <laughs> in the uk they are very 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 professional and they they give you respect that you deserve as a as a colleague you know right but here uh, unfortunately uh, as we speak you know this so called politics it has just uh, hit us hard to be very honest at the workplace politics it's very bad very petty very 
I don't know. I, I shouldn't say that. It's bad. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for the individual. Indeed, I, I totally agree to the fact because when you talk about the professional environment, uh, whenever you have a leader or a senior or a person who's superior to you, he always trains you for the day when he leaves, you're ready. But in Pakistan, uh, mostly uh, with very heavy arts, uh, there are good people. But mostly what we notice is people, they're just worried about their seat and their position. And by the time everyone has to leave one day, so when they have to leave, you don't have a replacement ready. And that's when the organization struggles. Let it be any channel. Let it be anything. Let it be the Pakistan cricket team. Any everywhere, you know, if you don't have anyone ready to replace you, uh, you the organization will struggle. So a good leader uh, always prepares people while he's there and before he leaves, he always has his replacement ready. You know, I have uh, experienced that in every single uh, environment, working environment, there's always you will find one, two or maybe more toxic colleagues, you know. So these toxic colleagues, they tend to be weak. And, you know, a weak person always bring, uh, bring certain negativity around. Totally. Agree. And he would never work. He knows how to uh, climb the ladder of success, uh, success. And he has got certain traits. And you know that. So uh, how, to, how to kiss and grow. You know? Yes, I can totally, <laughs> uh, totally relate it uh, to the current times. But then again, uh, you, mashallah, have been so successful and uh, you uh, took the hard way. You took uh, the tough way and that is why, mashallah, with all the intellect that you're sharing today, I would like you to share uh, a bit more with our youngsters today that even if you try uh, to have success by stepping onto other people or uh, rather than uh, increasing uh, your um, uh, you know, uh, work and your graft, um, criticizing people or playing politics, as you quoted, uh, it won't last long and you know you won't get the respect uh, in the field. So uh, under all your experience, what would you like to suggest and advise to our youth today who wants to make it big in the field, but uh, you know they're very confused when it comes to the guidelines that should I take the right path, should I take the shortcut? So under your uh, tremendous experience. There's no shortcut, first of all. And again, I would advise those youngsters that Please never try to be popular. This so-called popularity would not last long. So please stop being a popular guy, whether it's working in or a classroom. You have to be you. And you're unique. You're different. You wow. know, you're not of somebody else. So if a Masood Peg is somewhere, so I have to, you know, when you enter into a room, you have to let people know that I'm here and I have certain presence. You're with your uh, body. With facial express, uh, expressions, the way you speak, your voice, your tone, your pitch, you know, the way you move around. So it's you. So please be you, first of all. And you know, you have to keep learning all the time. You have to keep the kettle hot. That's the, that's the number one. You know, you don't have to stop reading or learning. You know, I keep stressing on again and again that you have to learn. Without learning, you cannot perform. That's the rule. So again, I said that don't have to be popular. Take risks in life. Oh, but yes. risks, risks should be very calculated. Okay. So I, again, you know, in a workplace, you will all, you always find a, one or two people who will uh, support you. But again, you have to prove yourself. And to prove exactly. yourself, you have to do right things at the right time. Very rightly said, sir. Uh, now, um, of course, uh, sir, you have a, a huge, long career, and we discussed uh, in the intro as well. Uh, almost two decades. So uh, you've you've done a little bit of everything. But let me ask you, uh, what exactly uh, gives you the most excitement? Uh, because everyone has that certain choice that this is something that I really love to do. So what is that uh, one thing that attracts you a bit more? Because you have done it all, you do it all, but this uh, there must be something that's uh, a bit closer to your heart. Work. Yeah, but, but what sort of work? Because you've produced, you've been into the production line, you've done it all, as I said. But one thing that you have real passion for. You know, I believe that we all are storytellers, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I love stories. And we all are stories ourselves as well. And we have got so many things to share. But normally we don't tend to or we don't have opportunities to do so. 
so uh, there are certain mediums that you can just follow and tell people about your stories on other people's stories you know and we being humans we love storytelling you know and especially in our society you know you must have you must have had your grandfather whether it's paternal or maternal you must have your nano or dado you must have heard stories from them so i would like to tell stories you know i am so busy i've been so so busy with my own work you know when i was in the uk i had made so many short films but i wish i could show them one day so when i was in jio uh, i was a director producer drama i uh, again my job was not to direct but i direct two telefilms you know so i my work was to just uh, lead the projects so again i stopped but again uh, i have got a couple of people around who are very passionate about telling stories and we are starting again a new story soon and we'll be making a short film so again my passion is my work you know and the other thing is that i'd like to have in my at my workplace is respect give respect please especially to your female colleagues and i've seen bad things around you know if you just go and talk to anybody in pakistan and uh, ask about ptv world's environment and talk to those female colleagues who work there and you know alhamdulillah they would come up with nice thought you know you have to secure them you have to because they are as there is there 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 your equal partners at your workplace so give them respect give your work a certain respect and Indeed. always talk nice about your workplace ye jo hum rote rehte hain na hame ye nahi mila hame wo nahi mila yeah we have got limited resources but we have been doing a lot and honestly honestly and i am not exaggerating that if we had more resources we would do wonders at ptv but people don't know the actual situation at ptv people are quite hard working they're nice people around you know at so in, in social media you just see ptv ne ye kar diya ptv ne kar diya bhai you don't even know you believe in here say idhar ki utha ke udhar laga do utha ki utha ke udhar laga do you come to us move around see how we work you know we are state organ and we are pro state and we love our country and we cannot um, say anything that goes against my country or my country men in fact that's what i st- st- said at the very start that the basic ethics the basic rules of journalism that uh, you, you just switch to any international uh, media channel and you will see a certain um, criteria that they are following and in pakistan only i i find ptv uh, who's following it the most and uh, this is something that one should respect and regard and i also like to appreciate the fact when ptv uh, launched their english channel Uh, and then the way they you know picked the youngsters uh, the selection of the people who were on screen youngsters very presentable and uh, the graphics that they use i think that was extraordinary but these are minute details that a common man cannot understand but let me it, let me umar let me just i'm sorry to interrupt but let me underline a couple of things because i'm an old guy so i would rather forget yeah yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, we are not agenda driven at all i won't name uh, those channels who, are, who have been agenda driven we all know uh, who whose line they to okay so we are not going to uh, go there it's their own agenda but we are not agenda driven we just talk about pakistan we just highlight about different aspects of pakistan you know right our our we have to promote the master narrative of the country which is not the soft image i don't like this uh, term soft image the true image of our country the true image is that we are good people we are peace loving we are not terrible. you know we are hard working people right most, most of them they are just born in low middle class or middle class you know and just they grow true and not at, at your expense <laughs> we just right. grow i i i just like to add here uh, you know this being a youngster being part of the mm-hmm. media there's one thing that me and many people who have a, a certain bit of education and awareness and exposure they would definitely agree to it in fact i just give you an example uh, anything happens in pakistan any current situation you start switching channels and uh, you change up to 10 to 12 channels and you'll see same story but different perspective so here uh, you did not say anything but i would write, like to say here that everyone is selling a propaganda everyone is trying to make you believe what they want you to believe so rather than that i would request all uh, our youth all our generation all our population that look at everything but build your own opinion uh, back it with a bit of logic and the day we get that certain pair of uh, awareness i think uh, our world our society 
uh, our environment would be a much better place because every time when you look at the TV, you see negativity, you see all the negative image of Pakistan, and that builds up the frustration. Like a growing kid who's just five, seven years old, all he sees is gunfire, he sees, uh, you know, some crime, anything like that, and he thinks it's absolutely normal. So it is part of, and it is a responsibility of our media, even uh, the ones who say that we are Azad, so make Azad, but make it in a way that you don't have to do it with your own people. So uh, sir, this is a very deep topic and we can go on and on on this, but let's just talk about uh, uh, this part, that uh, you are very passionate when it comes to teaching the youngsters, you've taught at many institutions and uh, you have that passion to uh, give your word ahead and this is a bache seeke to aaj kyunki greenwich university ke am platform pe maujood hai greenwich university has its own media department they have their own uh, web tv they have their own uh, web radio they have their newspaper their magazines so in youngsters say jo media pad rahe hain under all your experience aap kya inko hidayat karna chahenge kya inko advice dena chahenge to enter the media field with the right set of mind common sense first of all <laughs> very rightly said you need that to start with mm. and then always if you become a journalist or uh, you know journalism is quite it's a very fancy word you know these days yeah so first of all you should learn how to dig deeper i stress dig deeper you know it's your job and you are different from others people believe that you know more or you should know more so you have to have certain perspective yes but always hold the robe of, uh, robe of truth you know you don't have to twist the facts you know uh, when we start uh, studying uh, media all the youngsters, uh, youngsters are taught two three things to start with like media informs you media educates you media media persuades you but media also lies media to the facts so you need to draw a line between half truth or full truth or half lie or full lie whatsoever so it's your judgment and again you said omar that logic is the key hmm. you have to connect the dots you know and you know being a leader i respect and i like those uh, colleagues who really are hard working and they listen to you and they do what you say and they ask you questions by the way you know so question and normally my experience as a teacher is that these kids do not tend to ask questions they are scared of something i don't know oh ji wo main hame sawal karunga to fala shazia kya kahegi ya saima kya kahegi hello you have to you have to ask questions for yourself because questions make you stronger you have to understand this if you ask questions you will get answers and answers make you a better person as far as the profession environment is concerned so again i would rather say that bhai padho padhna bahut zaruri hai you don't uh, read books If these days there are hundreds and thousands of ebooks available you study i, I would rather say that when you uh, study certain thing you know next day when you go to class and you just kehte na seena chauda karke you baith jate ho okay now i'm going to tell you what to do again i have just noticed that presentation skills bahut kamzor hai hamare bachchon ki कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स तो है ही दैट आपकी उर्दू भी अच्छी नहीं है आपकी इंग्लिश भी अच्छी नहीं है और आपकी मदर टंग भी अच्छी नहीं है तो आपका अच्छा है क्या उर्दू वेल अगर मैं उर्दू बोलूँ तो मैं वो उर्दू बोलता हूँ जो उर्दू है अगर मैं कहूंगा हिफ्ज माता कर दूँ तो भाई हिफ्ज माता कर दूम इज एन एक्सप्रेशन टू बी ऑन द सेफ साइड मतलब तो मैं क्या हिफ्ज माता कर दूंगा और क्या बोलूँ भाई मैंने तो यही उर्दू सीखी इवन दो आई एम नॉट उर्दू स्पीकिंग सर uh, आपने बड़ी अच्छी बात की uh, इस हवाले से और इसमें मजीद uh, बिल्कुल डेफिनेटली बात करेंगे कि uh, ये जो हमारे यंगस्टर्स हैं आजकल के आपने बात की कि कम्युनिकेशन का इशू है आई वुड आई पर्सनली थिंक कि हमारे वहाँ जितनी uh, आजकल की यंगर जनरेशन है बहुत टैलेंटेड है बट दे हैव दिस सर्टन मेंटल ब्लॉक क्योंकि जब बचपन के अंदर ही आपके जहन में एक बात बिठा दी जाए कि आप ये नहीं कर सकते आप वो नहीं कर सकते द सोसाइटी इज कॉन्स्टेंटली क्रिटिसाइजिंग यू नो मैटर हाउ क्रिएटिव यू आर नो मैटर हाउ टैलेंटेड यू आर आपको जब बचपन में आपकी वो इंस्टिंग किल कर दी गई तो हाउ डू यू एक्सपेक्ट अ पर्सन टू यू नो डू डू इट एंड गो ऑन इन दैट फील्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल वट वी डू इन जितने आप प्राइमरी स्कूल की बात कर लें द बेस्ट टाइम फॉर अ स्टूडेंट टू लर्न इज फ्रॉम टू टू फाइव 
दो साल से पांच साल उसकी सबसे ब्राइट उम्र होती है और उसी टाइम पे हम बच्चों का कॉन्फिडेंस चार्टर कर देते हैं इस तरीके से इसको मत छुओ ये ना करो आई से लेट द चाइल्ड एक्सप्लोर द टाइम द चाइल्ड विल एक्सप्लोर वो खुद रियलाइज करेगा और ये बच्चों पे थोपे नहीं प्लीज के आपने बड़े होके ये करना है लेट द चाइल्ड एक्सप्लोर एंड आप ये डिटेक्ट करें बींग अ गुड टीचर बींग अ गुड पेरेंट के वॉट ही और शी इज गुड एट and then support uh, him or her in that very field and that's how we are going to uh, create wonders hamare ma confidence ka ek level ab main bhi padhata hu ya train karta hu ya radio ke first kare agar programs karta hu to mera sirf ek perspective hota hai ki hum logon ke zehen kholein jo hum logon ki society ne logon ka confidence shatter kar diya hai unko ye yakeen dila diya hai ki wo zindagi mein kuch nahi kar sakte unko yaad dilaye ki hum ashraful makhlukat hain और हम जो चाहे कर सकते यू नो आई हैड बीन विक्टिम ऑफ द सेम माइंडसेट व्हेन आई डिड माय मैट्रिक माय फादर सेड कि डॉक्टर बनना है आई न्यू दैट मेरे पास कुछ नहीं है रेसिपी नहीं है वो वाली डॉक्टर बनने वाली अगेन आई स्टडीड वन ईयर एज अ इन प्री मेडिकल एंड आई फेल्ड फिर वो रियलाइज किया अच्छा साल जाए हो गया तो देन आई हैड टू टेक एडमिशन इन अदर कॉलेज इन अनदर फैकल्टी so this was the route so ek saal to mera zaya ho gaya so it's okay there so many children you know mera ye khayal ye hai ki parents should be taught unki bhi parenting hai na ye jo jo nafsiyati aspect hai pakistan mein khair nafsiyat pe koi ghaasi nahi dalta ya to hum samajhte nahi na hamare maa baap ko pata hai hamare maa baap ko yahi growing issue mental health hai aur iske upar parents really need it ji sir our parents jo hamari parents ki generation thi wo different thi hamare se we are friends We yes. are very flexible. We stretch ourselves. I've got a son and a daughter. Definitely, I'm their friend. Mujhe toh apna toh samajh ke itna nahi zada wo karte. Meri baat nahi mante. Matlab mother, mother knows how to teach them certain things. Wo jaan pan toh padti hai. Main hi samajh toh hai ki apna bachcho ko appreciate zaroor karna chahiye. Pata hai. Or my son said ki ji mujhe doctor banna hai. When he was now he's fourteen. Ki ji main doctor toh banunga, lekin main operation nahi karunga. मेरा जो रुझान है वो किस तरफ है आर्ट की तरफ बहुत ज्यादा था बट मै फादर लव इट सो उन्होंने कहा नहीं जी मैं डॉक्टर नहीं बनना है आपने यही करना है वो ही करना है सो अगेन माई पॉइंट इज दैट ऑलवेज एप्रिशिएट योर किड्स वेदर दे आर योर किड्स और यू टीच एंड ऑलवेज सपोर्ट दैम इन एनी वे पॉसिबल वेरी ठीक है अभी हमारे पास हमारा इतना ट्रांसपेरेंट है जो इन्वायरमेंट है पी टी वर्ल्ड का स्पेशली टू बी वेरी वेरी फेयर हमारे पास रोजाना कोई ना कोई जंगस्टर्स आते हैं कि हमने न्यूज कास्टर बनना है या प्रोग्राम को लीड करना है या हमने ये करना है रिसर्चर बनना है कोऑर्डिनेटर बनना है ये ये जो बेसिक्स है ना अब एकदम तो नहीं आ सकते हो अब उसके अंदर होता ही है कि जी अच्छा आपने बनना है अभी मैं कल ही की बात कर करूँ की जी एक बच्ची हमारी बाहर से पढ़ के आई यूनिवर्सिटी वेस्ट मिनिस्टर से पढ़ा उसने मैनेजमेंट और कहा जी की मैं पढ़ना चाहती हूँ मैंने कहा अब मैं इधर न्यूज कास्टर बनना चाहती हूँ मैंने कहा जी ठीक है हमने इसको ऑडिशन लिया अब ऑडिशन के लिए कमेटी है देर आर फाइव पीपल कमेटी वो व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बना हुआ हम उसका तो रिकॉर्ड किया हुआ तीन मिनट का जो भी चांक होगा वो डाल देंगे वो अपने कमेंट्स देंगे इफ शी इज गॉट पोटेंशियल वी कैन नेवर स्टॉप हर और अगर नहीं है तो फिर हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते ठीक है वी डोंट नीड एनी सिफारिश व्हाट्स अगर आपके पास टैलेंट है और आप समझते हैं कि यू कैन जस्ट लीड दैट स्क्रीन विद योर प्रेजेंस और सो यू कैन डू इट अदरवाइज कुछ लोग नहीं बने टेलीविजन के लिए या मीडिया के लिए अभी भी तो लोगों को समझना अब ये जो अभी एक ढेर चाल चली ना पिछले 12 15 20 सालों में कि जी मीडिया 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 इट्स नॉट फॉर यू यू नो यू हैव टू हैव सर्टेन ट्रेड्स टू बी अ मीडिया पर्सन स्पेशली व्हेन यू आर ऑन स्क्रीन राइट एंड आई विल एब्सोल्युटली आस्क यू मोर अबाउट इट सर बट कुछ मेरे पास और बड़ी मजेदार मेमोरीज आपकी मौजूद हैं आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर इट ऑन स्क्रीन ताकि हम आपसे पूछ सकें कि क्या बेल रिंग होती है सो सर ऑन स्क्रीन राइट नाउ ओके आई थिंक इट्स 96 वाओ मैं बिल्कुल लेफ्ट पे हूं आगे जो सेकंड रो में खड़े हुए जो लोग हैं उसके लेफ्ट पे जी बिल्कुल आई हैव स्पॉटेड यू सर तो ये ये किस चीज के पिक्चर है क्या ग्रुप है ये ये हमारा जो ना एक इसका इनोग्रेशन था ये आईसीआई के साथ मिलके 
जो मैनेजमेंट डेवलपमेंट सर्विसेज का जो इफ्तः था ना जिस दिन ये उस दिन की पिक्चर है वाओ राइट सो सर ऑफ कोर्स ये पुरानी पिक्चर्स देख के बहुत सी चीजें याद भी आ रही होंगी आई आई जस्ट शेयर दिस ऑन स्क्रीन मतलब बड़ा एक लाइवली मोमेंट है और uh, ये पहले तो कब की पिक्चर है और बात क्या हो रही थी अच्छा ये हमारी ना फर्स्ट एनिवर्सरी है पीटीवी वर्ल्ड की 2014 के जनवरी में गालिबन इसी के जनवरी 2013 को हमने शुरू किया था राइट सो बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ पीटी वर्ल्ड शी वाज आस्किंग मी समथिंग एंड आई वाज द वे आई वाज रिस्पोंडिंग यू कैन सी दैट यस सर बिकॉज़ इन दिस सेशन वी हैव सीन योर सच अ हंबल फ्रेंडली एंड जॉली पर्सन सो आई एम श्योर योर सबऑर्डिनेट्स एंड एवरी पर्सन हु इज वर्किंग अंडर यू इज वेरी लकी बिकॉज़ विद योर ऑरा यू मस्ट कीप अ वेरी पॉजिटिव एनवायरनमेंट अराउंड इट मस्ट बी वेरी फन टू यू नो वर्क अंडर यू एंड वर्क अराउंड यू यू नो आई एम अ ह्यूमन आई हैव लर्न्ड सर्टेन थिंग्स इन लाइफ एंड आई वुड लाइक टू अप्लाई दोस थिंग्स इन माय वर्क प्लेस uh you have to yeah you know you have to be humble to be very honest whether you are at your workplace or at your home or somewhere else again you have to you have to right uh to, yeah i just uh, so can, I can, you, can you still hear me sir yeah i can okay perfect yeah you know it was my wife's call so ab jo bhi hoga dekha jayega bhai ye aapne badi achhi baat ki ye ye jo hai na jo bhi ab insaan kuch bhi ban jaye zindagi mein bivi bivi hoti hai ये जो पैंडेमिक का टाइम गुजरा है ना इसके अंदर तो मतलब जितने मर्द हजरात शादी शुदा लोगों ने सरवाइव करके बाहर निकले ना उन सबको मैं सलाम और खराज तहसीन पेश करता हूँ ये ये बिल्कुल अलग टॉपिक है इसमें मैं घंटों बात कर सकता हूँ हाउ हाउ टू मेक अमन है हम एक्सक्लूसिव सेशन करेंगे अलग से <laughs> बहुत मुश्किल काम है Because कहते हैं मैं मतलब मैं मजाक में कह रहा हूँ सारे नहीं हो जाना लेकिन बड़ा मुश्किल काम है और बहुत खुश नसीब है वो लोग जिनको ये बात समझ में आ गई आई कॉन्ट कमेंट रूल नंबर वन सर यही है यस यू आर राइट मैम मैम यू आर राइट यूर राइट एब्सोल्यूटली बात कर रहे थे सॉरी उससे पहले सर हम मेमोरीज की बात कर रहे थे हम पिक्चर्स हां हां ओके सो यू नो आई ऑलवेज गिव अपॉर्चुनिटी टू माय यंगस्टर्स आई वुड नेवर से कोऑर्डिनेट्स माय कॉलीग्स माय यंग कॉलीग्स राइट सो एंड देयर 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 यंग लैड्स एंड माय वाइफ इज देयर चले सर लाइव सेशंस का बेस्ट पार्ट ही होता है लेट्स जस्ट कीप इट लाइवली नो प्रॉब्लम अभी उनका अस्सलाम ही निकला <laughs> 10-15 मिनट का मार्जिन ले लें फिर उसके बाद यू नो आप लेटर ऑन यू कैन टेल अस इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन दैट व्हाट हैपेंड इफ आई सरवाइव नहीं इंशाल्लाह सर यू हैव टू मतलब आई आई यू नो इफ आई न्यू योर एड्रेस आई वुड हैव सेंट यू अ हेलमेट बाय नाउ एनीवेज क्या थे हम कर रहे बात देखें मैं खौफ से भूल गया हूं सब ऑर्डिनेंस की बात कर रहे थे कि आप उनको आई वुड आई वुड आई वुड रादर नॉट कॉल देम सबऑर्डिनेट देयर योर कॉलीग्स and uh, you know they are lifeline you have to support them you have yeah, to prepare them exactly and you have to just be there uh, yesterday uh, we had a cake uh, cake cutting ceremony and we celebrated pakistan's day uh, independence day that day so all were there and after that we we uh, went to a cafe and we had fun isi ke workplace pe aap hain boss lekin jab aap equal hote hain na fir aap mazak bhi karte hain aap sunte bhi hain sab kuch karte hain lekin again i always say to my colleagues that please all I always try not to cross the red lines aur wo red line aapne kheenchni hoti hai na jaise ki har tarah ke log aapke aas paas hote hain kuch log thoda sa zyada ho jate hain to maine shuru se kheench ke rakha hai to meri voice hi haski hai main thoda sa uncha bolta hu to wo kaam aa jata hai so mazak kare you know there is a there is a saying ke uh, be friendly not friend at your workplace isliye ki ye sab friends nahi hote aapke ye aapke colleagues hain inko friends ke zumre mein na leke aaye wo friends दूसरे लोग होते हैं टोटली एग्रीड सर द द लेवल ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट शुड बी देयर बट आई टोटली एग्री टू दिस फैक्ट कि जब आप अपना वर्क um, प्लेस पे एक फ्रेंडली एनवायरनमेंट रखते हैं तो वो और ज्यादा प्रोडक्टिव uh, और एफिशिएंसी बढ़ जाती है बिकॉज़ वो जो एक एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट होता है वो आपके एम्प्लॉइज uh, डालना शुरू हो जाते हैं व्हेन दे से व्हेन दे सी दैट इवन आवर लीडर इज विद अस ही स्टैंडिंग विद अस ही बीइंग सो काइंड फ्रेंडली और एक एक हेल्दी एनवायरनमेंट से Uh, आपकी जो प्रोडक्टिविटी और इफेक्टिवनेस है वो बहुत बढ़ जाती है बट एट द सेम टाइम यू सेड दैट फाइन लाइन शुड बी देयर वो जो एक रिस्पेक्ट का लेवल है वो क्रॉस बिकॉज मेनी पीपल टेक यू फॉर ग्रांटेड फॉर योर काइंडनेस तो आई टोटली एग्री टू द थिंग राइटली सेड 
एग्जैक्टली एनी अदर थिंग इज दैट कुछ लोग हमारे जो लीडर्स होते हैं ना वो बॉस ही होते हैं वो जस्ट दे जस्ट पास ऑर्डर्स नो यू हैव टू जस्ट टेल देम एंड यू हैव टू प्रूव दैट यू आर देयर यू आर वन ऑफ देम वाओ द लीड फ्रॉम द फ्रंट ये बैटल फील्ड है ना स्पेशली यू हैव टू बी देयर एग्जैक्टली इन स्पेशली हाउ यू स्टार्टेड दिस सेशन यू स्टार्टेड ऑफ बाय सेइंग आई एम स्टिल लर्निंग दैट वाज द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल थिंग अबाउट यू सर आई लर्न फ्रॉम माय कॉलीग्स ये आप माशाल्लाह जितने हम्बल हैं और जो आपकी जर्नी आपने शेयर की इन इन डीड इट्स सो इंस्पिरेशनल फॉर एवरीवन हु इज वाचिंग दिस राइट नाउ एंड एज मच एज आई एम लविंग दिस सेशन वी आर आल्सो रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम बट आई स्टिल हैव लॉट्स ऑफ मेमोरीज सो आई जस्ट शेयर अ बिट मोर ऑफ पिक्चर्स सो व्हाट इज पिक्चर माय सन इज होल्डिंग माय पिक्चर mashallah <laughs> so that that two generations and as you said that you love to tell stories every picture has a story and this one has uh, a lot of things to say so uh, please sir yeah so i said that he is my son uh, when he was i guess 7 or 8 now he's 14 wow and, and it was uh, a few months old baby without teeth wow i, I can see another picture on the screen i think this is yeah some- Yeah. this depicts the way we run our uh, organization this is our team there are two teams ptv world ptv news and we just uh, played that uh, series last year no yes last year actually in in winter so we do that uh, kind of activities every uh, single year every every year indeed uh, in fact uh, you have got a very good team in fact you are, are also very passionate about cricket so let's just talk a bit about that side of yours as well we've seen the professional side we did talk a bit few about your college and school days you mentioned you were naughty but you never shared what shararats you did so thoda sa sir ab end ki taraf aa rahe hain to aapki muskurahat se mujhe pata chal raha hai ke kaafi shararatein thi to koi ek memory agar aap hamare sath share karna chahe nahi shararatein us tarah buri wali shararatein nahi thi shararat shararat hoti hai bura acha kya hota hai to matlab kisi ko nuksan nahi pahunchaye kabhi so school mein to bilkul alag tarah ki shararat thi for example school mein when i was ninth i remember kam bahut bure the ki hum usme school bus mein aaya karte the to namaish ke paas jo hai na wo ek jagah bus ne kisi ko utara student ko to wahan se ganne ki machine thi wahan se ganne ganna ek kheecha chad gaye dobara bus mein right aur ganne ko toda aur traffic wala khada hua to usko maar diya police wala क्या आवाज है देखें बात सारी है आई बिलीव के इंसान को ना अपने यंग एज के अंदर वो ऐसे कारनामे अंजाम देने चाहिए कि बाय द टाइम अगर वो जिंदगी में ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स बन जाए तो उनके पास कहानियां हो सुनाने के लिए आई जस्ट सेड यू लव टू टेल स्टोरी सो सर ऐसी कहानियां तो होनी चाहिए ना फिर बच्चों पोतों को बताने के लिए कि जी बाप अपने टाइम पे इतने रॉकिंग थे और <laughs> मैं आपको एक क्रिएटिव चीज बताता हूं जी वन ऑफ इन फर्स्ट ईयर कॉलेज में तो हमारी लड़ाई हो गई ना कॉलेज में तो आपको पता दोस्तों के साथ आप मार खाते खा लेते हैं तो लाजे पति हम पिटे फिर <laughs> दोस्तों की जाते तो वो इत, वो एक मेरा जो पूरी आंख थी ना वो सूज गई काली हो गई वो मुक्के शुक्के पड़े ना अब मसला ये नहीं था मसला ये नहीं था कि क्या हुआ है वो तो सही हो जाता मुझे मसला था कि वालिद साहब को क्या कहना है तो मैंने ना मैं सोचा क्या क्या आप कहानी बनाए तो मैं मैं बाइक मैंने कभी नहीं चलाई ना मुझे पसंद है उस जमाने में लड़कों के पास होती तो मैं बाइक मैंने सोचा है बाइक पे तो बहुत जाते आते हैं बिकॉज दे वुड पिक मी फ्रॉम होम मैंने कहा एक गदा गाड़ी पे पाइप लदे हुए थे तो मैं बाइक पे था तो वो जो है ना एकदम उसने ब्रेक मारी तो मैं जाके बाइक मेरी आंख आंख में लग गया और जो अबू ने मुझे लुक कराया ही डेंट बाय द स्टोरी तो वो कह रहे कि सूजी है सूजी है कट क्यों नहीं आया हां बिल्कुल क्योंकि देखिए एंड ऑफ द डे बात भी होती है ना कि जब खास तौर पे जब हम अगर अपने बचपन में लड़कपन में डरे हुए होते हैं और घर पे कोई चीज छुपानी होती है तो वी कम अप विद द सिलीस ऑफ एक्सक्यूजेस जिस पे लाजमी पकड़े जाते हैं हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं डॉक्टर साबिर अहमद और कहते हैं वेलकम डियर मसूद सो साबिर अहमद साहब के लिए कुछ कहना चाहे आप mass communication together went different classes uh sabir was a very shy person at that time i must say abhi bhi shy abhi bhi ji ji bilkul hum sir ko kaafi kehte hain lekin abhi bhi shyness abhi tak chalak hai ha sharif sa ladka ye sharafat aaj ki is baat ki guarantee mai leta hu sharafat bharpoor hai bilkul lekin akele ke liye ghumne wala sharif sa ladka 
क्या बात है सर रब नवाज हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं ग्रेनेस यू हार्ट बीट एंड ही वेलकम्स यू टू द शो इट कम रियर मिस्टर मसूद और शाजिया अनवर मैम हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं आपको वेलकम कहते हैं हमारे साथ बैत खान मौजूद हैं कहते हैं वंडरफुल शो और आपको सलाम कहते हैं समर शाह हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं एंड शी इज़ रियली हैप्पी टू सी द प्रोग्राम और कहते हैं कि जी ऑलवेज वर्क इन न्यू टैलेंट एड appreciate living legend so calling your living legend sir and no we have this <laughs> abdul hadi uh, sir so uh, as much as we are loving the session we are coming towards an end aap ek educational platform pe hain aap ki bahut unsiyat hai bachon ko padhane se leke grenach ka bhi apna media department hai uh, so uh, what how do you think we can collaborate and you know make it uh, a bit more productive for the students in the future because of pandemic ki situation bhi lighten up ho rahi hai things are getting better so uh, with your huge experience how do we think we can collaborate uh, for the betterment of students i am always ready whenever greenwich uh, university needs me ab to online bahut ho gaya hai we can just uh, hold different sessions i can come to karachi most probably i'm going to come over next month so i can talk to uh, sabir and we can just uh, uh, hold a session a one day session half day session depends about any aspect of uh, tv industry or film and tv industry or media generally rather So I it depends. Be... I am always ready. I say you're based in Islamabad right now. Yeah, I am. All right. Uh, so that's absolutely uh, lovely. But I told you that I am. I am a hardcore Kachiite. Oh, I can. I can see that. I can feel that. Uh, and indeed, sir, as much as I'm loving the session, we're coming towards an end. It was such a lovely session. Uh, in fact, I'll ask you. आप इस ख्याल से कितना वक्त गुजरा होगा? आधा घंटा. हाँ, yeah. So it's, it's been over 50 minutes that we're talking, and okay. we can go. For oh, hours and hours, and uh, you're such a, uh, such a lovely person, and especially your things that you've been saying, we'll definitely hook that up uh, in our lives, implement it, and I think uh, youngsters uh, have learned a lot from today's session. Sima and I are here with us, and they say, "Hello, Mr. Mirza Masood Beg, good to Mary see you." Very good, fellow. Wow. So, look, we're in this pandemic time of social distancing. So, how do we get to know each other? Absolutely. आपका आज ग्रैंड लाइफ सेशन पे कैसा एक्सपीरियंस है आपने खुद इतने प्रोग्राम्स प्रोड्यूस किए इतना कुछ किया है बट इस प्रोग्राम के वजह से हाउ इज योर एक्सपीरियंस बहुत बहुत मजा आया मैं आई हैव डन रेडियो फॉर द लास्ट फॉर अराउंड 5 इयर्स रेडियो पाकिस्तान में वाओ सो एंड आई हैव अपीयर्ड ऑन टेलीविजन इन द यूके बट मुझे एक बात का बड़ा वो है मलाल एक तरह का कि मुझे पाकिस्तान में भी आगे जो ना अपीयर होना चाहिए था स्क्रीन पे आई नेवर ट्राइड दैट मैं बिहाइंड द स्क्रीन ही रहूं कैमरा ही रहा हूँ तो वो थोड़ा सा है कि मैंने बहुत से लोगों को ग्रो होते हुए देखा इसलिए पाकिस्तान में कहते हैं ना जो दिखता है वो बिकता है तो आपको वो ज्यादा सीरियस लेते हैं मैं घर में अगर आप स्क्रीन पे हूँ हालांकि इंटलेक्चुअल तो कहीं भी हो सकते हैं नॉट मी देर आर सो मेनी अदर्स जो अच्छा लिख रहे हैं अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं लेकिन डायरेक्शन इज बहुत डायरेक्शन इज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड जॉब टू बी अ गुड डायरेक्टर यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी गुड गुड ऑब्जर्वर अब अगर मैं लियारी में नहीं रहा तो मैं लियारी के बारे में कुछ नहीं बना सकता फिर मैं सिर्फ एक फेक सी चीज बनाऊंगा So I right. have to be there. I have to see uh, what people do, and I have been to Lahore, by the way. And you know, one day, most probably, Zanzibar uh, Chaiwe and migrants. के बारे में कोई बात कहे आपने hardly कोई documentary देखी होगी. They are lovely people. ये तो एक अलग में digress कर रहा हूँ. But there are so many other pockets that we should talk about. We should uh, underline them. We should uh, underscore them. So, but I have uh, uh, I have had lovely time with you, honestly. And after a long, long time, मैंने बहुत सी बातें share की हैं. सर बड़ा मजा है इनशाला हम फ्यूचर में बिल्कुल एक और सेशन रखेंगे और ये जो आपने बात की बात से बात निकलती है मैं डेफिनेटली यहाँ कहना चाहूंगा क्योंकि हमने मीडिया की और पर्सपेक्टिव्स की एंगल्स की भी बात की आ, कोई भी चीज अगर आप सुने और आपका उसके ऊपर पर्सनल कोई एक्सपीरियंस नहीं रहे तो उसको बिलीव नहीं करें लियारी के बारे में लोग तरह तरह की बात कहते हैं आई हेव बिन टू लियारी मेरे रेडियो की एक यूज लिसनरशिप लियारी से एंड आप यकीन करें अगर हम वीडियो शूट के लिए हमारे ग्रेनेज की टीम वहाँ गई थी हमारे साथ लड़कियां थीं दे वर वेयरिंग वेस्टर्न क्लोथ्स एंड पीपल इन लियारी वर ओवर प्रोटेक्टिव फॉर ऑल ऑफ देम और उन्होंने सिक्योरिटी की तरह काम करके uh, हमारी हेल्प किए और लोग कहते हैं कि हमारे हालात ठीक नहीं है आई टोटली डिस टू दैट सबसे हम्बल सबसे प्यार मोहब्बत करने वाले लोग हैं इज्जत देने वाले लोग हैं ये पर्स्पेक्टिव कैसे आया पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस है तो जो भी आप मीडिया पे न्यूज पे सोशल uh, मीडिया पे देखें प्लीज उस पर यकीन ना करें जब तक आपका फर्स्ट हैंड एक्सपीरियंस या कोई एक ऑथेंटिक सोर्स ना हो 
प्लीज डो नॉट बिलीव ऑन एनी थिंग दैट यू सी और रीड जैसे हमने कहा शूर पैदा करें और लॉजिक पैदा करें सर एक चीज आखिरी मैं पूछना चाहूंगा बिफोर लिविंग पी टी वी इज हैज ऑलवेज बिन नोन फॉर कीपिंग अप आर कल्चर हमारी हेरिटेज तो अब फ्यूचर के अंदर डू वी सी मोर ऑफ इट जिसके अंदर जो हमने जिक्र किया कि हमारी उर्दू आहिस्ता आहिस्ता हमारी जो नौजवान नस्ल है उससे गायब होती चली जा रही है तहजीब हमारी कम होती चली जा रही है तो एनी थिंग्स और एनी प्लान दैट यू हैव फॉर नियर फ्यूचर कि हम ये अवेयरनेस और एजुकेशनल सिलसिला जो पी टी वी शुरू से जारी रखा हुआ है वो एक बार फिर एक नए अंदाज से यूथ के लिए रीलॉन्च करके पैकेज करें बिल्कुल अब पाकिस्तान टेलीविजन नेटवर्क के नाइन चैनल्स हैं और हमारे पास पाइपलाइन भी ये भी है पीटीवी किट्स जो है वो शुरू करें इसलिए कि अभी आप देख रहे हैं क्योंकि एक अलग एक सब्जेक्ट है लेकिन मुझे बड़ा अफसोस होता है कि हमारी बहुत बड़ी तादाद में जो बच्चे हैं वो इंडियन चैनल्स को डब किए हुए कॉन्टेंट को देखते हैं और वो जबान सीख रहे हैं जो कि बहुत बुरी बात है हमारे माशरे के लिए एज ए नेशन बहुत बुरी बात है सो वी हैव टू हैवर ओन चैनल विच वेर वी कैन प्रमोट आर कल्चर नॉर्म्स वैल्यूज ट्रेडिशन वट्स सो वन डे मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली बट पी टी वी का पी टी वी का भी पूरा इम्तियाज है कि पी टी वी ने पूरी जनरेशन दर जनरेशन जो है वो करवान चढ़ी है पी टी वी देख के और अब आने वाले दिनों में बहुत सी चीज़ें होंगी पी टी वी वर्ल्ड की अगर मैं बात करूँ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव सो मैनी प्रोग्राम्स अबाउट यंग जनरेशन अबाउट वेमेन वी आर स्टार्टिंग न्यू प्रोग्राम फॉर वेमेन वर्ल्ड वी आर स्टार्टिंग कैंपस इस अनदर यूनिक प्रोग्राम अबाउट द स्टूडेंट्स यूनिवर्सिटीज सो बहुत सी चीज़ें हैं जो कि आने वाले दिनों में देख सकेंगे लोग लेकिन मसला ये है कि जो यंग जनरेशन है हमारी they don't watch tv that's the main problem you have to bring back uh, you have to bring them back towards the screen that's the challenge inshallah sir bilkul hoga aur uh, isiliye i've got full uh, trust in you uh, definitely after the conversation we had i think uh, uh, the, the more people like you i think our media will be in safe hands and ek jo learning curve hoga logon ke liye wo bada zabardast hoga and it was indeed a pleasure to have you here today uh, and like inshallah well. we'll definitely have another session in the future and we'll, we'll definitely see how we can collaborate and uh, take advantage from all your experience and exposure for the student and in the end i would like to thank you especially and dr saber and all the all the people who were who joined this session and i th- thank you again isabi gave me an opportunity to appear on this platform and i would love to appear again whenever he needs me i can come to karachi and we can just uh, hold a couple of presentations most probably because Uh, you know our job should be to uh, share share your knowledge share your education share your experience so please leave something behind sir absolutely be a reason for uh, everyone else's growth be that uh, step of the ladder for everyone around you i totally agree to that sir stay safe keep smiling and keep doing the wonderful work that you've been doing over the years <laughs> thank you so much and stay blessed sir thank you, you. Remote- Uh, pleasure and you heard mirza masood beg what a wonderful personality aur uh, inki sabse khoobsurat baat dekhe mashallah he is heading ptv world yet so humble yet so down to earth aur jo sabse khoobsurat baat inhone ki i'm still learning ye aap sab ke liye ek life lesson hai ke koi insaan chahe zindagi mein kitna achieve kar le phir bhi seekhne ki gunjaish hoti hai apne aap ko behtar karne ki gunjaish hoti hai there's always a uh, room for improvement in your life and the day you think you know it all that's the beginning of your uh, downfall to hamesha uh, down to earth rahe humble rahe focus kare hard work kare mehnat kabhi zindagi mein zaya nahi jati and that was wonderful session for today ummeed hai aapne bahut kuch seekha hoga aur isko seekh ke apni zindagi pe implement zarur kare uh, i'm sure ke success aapke kadam chumega agar aap apne life ke चंद एक प्रिंसिपल्स करेक्ट कर लें लाइफ में डिसिप्लिन ले आए फोकस ले आए नेगेटिविटी और टॉक्सिक लोगों से दूर रहें पॉजिटिव हो जाएं, मेहनत करें और सिर्फ आगे की तरफ देखें uh, ये ना सोचें जी क्या मिल रहा है कितना मिल रहा है बराबर वाले को क्या मिल गया मैं आज तक क्या क्यों हर चीज़ का एक राइट right टाइम है आपका राइट right टाइम भी आएगा बट नेवर स्टॉप बिलीविंग इन योर सेल्फ दैट इज द की सो ये था हमारा आज का सेशन और बिल्कुल आप नीचे देख सकते हैं सारी डिटेल्स British University के कॉन्टैक्ट डिटेल्स हैं जिसमें हमारा व्हाट्सएप नंबर राइट देयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन विच इज जीरो थ्री जीरो सिक्स डबल टू फोर एट थ्री सिक्स थ्री और ई मेल एड्रेस दैट इज एडमिशन एट ग्रेनेज डॉट ई डी यू डॉट पी कैन यू कैन विजिट आर वेबसाइट दैट इज ग्रेनेज डॉट यूनिवर्सिटी फिफ्टीन सेप्टेम्बर से फॉल सेमेस्टर स्टार्ट हो रहा है यू कैन लुक एट ऑल द वंडरफुल प्रोग्राम ग्रेनेज इज ऑफरिंग दैट इंक्लूड्स बी बी ए एम बी ए एम फिल पी एच डी इंग्लिश लिंग्विस्टिक्स 
language, economics, banking, finance, media, and uh, you, uh, media can there of course graphics, animation, yes, about that. And then Greenwich is offering B Ed that is, is for fifty percent flat discount for all the teachers out there. Uh, jitni teachers education mein aage badhna chaare, former degree leke apna teaching career aage badhna chaare, fifty percent discount unke liye maujood hai. So visit at Greenwich dot university and uh, have a feel. Of life at Greenwich. Umar Khan ko sikhe saath dijiye ijazat. Kal inshallah aap se fir mulaqat hogi ek aur topic pe. Ek aur guest ke saath. Bohut hi zabardas guest ke saath. To bilkul. Kal aap se mulaqat hogi. Till then keep smiling. Stay safe and stay positive. Not corona positive. Positive in life. Until next time. Pakistan. Zindabad.